gonna be just like us. I'll black dodger him. Oh, and you just missed the turn. Oh crap. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just taking it all in, you know. Oh, right here. guys well we have got the diamond C hooked up and we are ready for the first stop of our Texas trip it's a little windy it is uh, getting pretty warm out and across the street here we are at Dinocom Industries because we uh, a little while ago purchased a dyno which you guys will see very quick we're actually just waiting to get loaded up it's about uh, three o'clock in the afternoon uh, we have spent the entire day doing uh, Michael and I have been doing their training class on how to use this thing and uh, everything behind the scenes I didn't really film a lot uh, of the training because obviously uh, we wanted to focus we want to make sure we know how to use this uh, use this beast um, um, one of the major things that I have been missing and wanted to do from the beginning was give you guys before and afters on power numbers uh, on a lot of different data because you can do the butt dyno all day long and you can say it feels faster you can uh, uh, prove that with track times but I really want to have a dyno at our disposal for when we uh, change parts want to tweak things uh, overall just for the racing program uh, uh, and for everything. The dyno is going to be a very, very helpful tool. Uh, who doesn't love dyno videos as well? Um, but just a useful tool that I have been wanting for a long time. Uh, not one close by to uh, visit frequently. And I think we will uh, take full advantage of, uh, you know, adding parts, dynoing, showing you guys the progress, um, and we'll kind of gain a ton of knowledge. Now, you can add parts all day long, but do you know if they're doing anything better for your truck? Uh, are they doing good? Are they bad? They're just... Dino is such a cool tool to have, and I am super pumped. I'm super psyched uh, to be able to uh, do this, bring you guys along. Uh, again, thank you guys, as always, for all of the support. Couldn't do any of this without you guys, but uh, we're just sitting here, chilling, waiting for, uh, for the opportunity to get loaded up. And then, uh, yeah, stop number two coming up after this. Uh, but we'll show you guys the dyno when I get it loaded. Uh, we'll get Michael over here. He's kind of helping. Uh, we got two guys getting loaded up, so we're next. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm, uh, I'm kind of just taking it all in, uh, kind of experiencing everything. Uh, my brain is honestly about to explode because when you start getting into some of this dyno stuff, uh, uh, it does get a little, a little technical. So uh, my mind is, is definitely full at this point. So been a long day. Uh, and we'll catch up here in a second once we get this thing back down here, back down there, and load it up.
17 straps later, we have our dyno loaded on the trailer and we have plenty of room. Uh, you know, hey Michael, I think we got room for two more victims on here. We might need, we might need to actually uh, add one more. I, I don't think our next one's gonna quite fill up the whole entire trailer, but dyno is, uh, is finally secured. Took a little while. The guy loading his before us was, uh, it's quite a, it's quite a trip. We've been, we've been here what feels like for forever, but uh, it's all right. We've got our dyno, she's loaded down. We're gonna head back and uh, we'll chat a little bit about the exact model and uh, all the details behind it when we get back. So onward we go. Some of the biggest American flags I've ever seen. They really do. And some of the bumpiest roads, I'll give them that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why'd you have your exhaust brake off, man? Where's your hat, dude? Traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick. Well, here she is up close and personal. What we've got uh, specifically is a Dynocom 15,000 model. Uh, it is a upgraded single eddy brake, so it is a loaded dyno. Uh, multiple other uh, diesel guys in the industry have this exact same dyno, uh, so we know it should work really, really well for all of the diesel stuff. Obviously, you definitely want a di uh, loaded dyno for the diesel. Sorry for any of the wind noise, but this unit is pretty mint. It is actually a brand used unit, so it is not brand new, uh, but we are super pumped. It it, uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. So obviously with the new shop edition, we do need to uh, dig a pit and put this thing in the ground. So we've been kind of waiting to do some of the shop concrete until we got this thing. We do have all of the pit dimensions, but obviously having it in hand is a little bit nicer. So what we kind of did is we actually built a new uh, pit cover is what this is called uh, and it's actually oversized so if you look at all the room underneath here uh, we actually have quite a bit of room around it which is good so we actually have a dual eddy cover we're going to dig a dual eddy pit uh, eddy is referring to the brake system so you can actually have a two brake dyno uh, because we got such a good deal on this one we jumped on the single brake dyno uh, and that should be good for us now in case it's not and we wanna to upgrade to a dual eddy or dual brake dyno, we can actually just convert this one into a dual unit. And as long as we have the pit that's big enough and the cover big enough, it's not really that big of a deal. Obviously, if you, big, if you dig a pit and it gets bigger, you have a pretty big problem. So we've got this single brake unit for now and uh, should be good, it should be good. It's rated for quite, quite a bit of horsepower, quite a bit of torque, uh, should handle it. But in case we have to upgrade it, we're ready to do that and we can do that very easily. So like I said, we've been uh, waiting to do some shop concrete uh, because this is gonna go in the new building. We don't exactly have all of the layout specific covered yet, but we're gonna make it really, really nice. I'm super excited. Uh, we have been waiting for this day but a huge shout out to Dynocom. Oh, having your own dyno 
I don't know if there's anything better. I am so excited. Anyway, guys, I'm sure I am missing some big details. My brain is honestly completely fried from today. Uh, between loading everything up and all of the learning uh, and all of the uh, test sessions and stuff, uh, it has been a super, super, super long day, but uh, happy to be bringing this thing home. Um, and you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned. Make sure you guys are stay tuned for the next video uh, because we are bringing home the rest of the trailer in the next video so stay tuned boys got her loaded up and uh we are ready to make some power show you guys some real numbers uh again super super excited uh for this but yeah here she is in all of her glory Dinocom 15,000 if you guys have been uh, in the market for a dyno which I know not very many people are Dinocom was completely awesome to work with um, super super awesome company and uh, yeah we learned a lot today and uh, hopefully gonna implement all of that into uh, into this baby and uh, just pump out some awesome awesome videos for you guys who doesn't love dyno videos I love dyno videos uh, so we will have a whole new chapter of making power, having our hearts broke, and, uh, and everything in between. So that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video uh, on picking up the rest of the trailer load, and we'll see you guys soon. See ya.